In this video, I'll show you how to get uh, distance and travel times from Google Maps. Uh, so I have this little spreadsheet. Uh, there are some, uh, you know, different addresses here, and some of them are typed in a different way. If you pay attention, some of them are full. Some of them don't have the zip code. In some cases, it's just a zip code. In some cases, it's just the city and state and zip code doesn't have the rest of the address. Maybe I'll just also do another example here when it's just the city and state. So all of those should be fine in this case. So first of all, Google uh, Sheets at this point, where by the end of 2017 now, doesn't have a function that you can use. Uh, so you will have to use app scripts and you'll have to create your own function for this. So I'm going to provide a link to the script of the function so you can just copy and paste and you'll be able to use it right away. Uh, the first thing we'll need to do, we'll have to go under tools and script editor. That's going to get us to our script editor. We want to click on this untitled project and we're going to name this project mm, maps function doesn't matter what you call this by the way okay so here we have to provide the code that we need so uh, I'm going to go to this page I'm gonna share the link for this page so you can find it below the video so here we need this code below so I'm going to go and click on this little code icon that just shows me the plain code now I should be able to just highlight the whole thing. Make sure you get everything here, okay? So from top to down. So I press Control A, Command A. That's the easiest way to get the whole thing or select it with your mouse, which is kind of a little more difficult. So just copy this, go back, and you want to remove everything that's in here. Just make sure there is nothing else as a code in your script editor. If you do have a code, don't overwrite it. If you don't know what you're doing, don't mess around with the code that you currently have in there. So if it looks like this, then you're fine. Just delete everything, paste, and we should have the code now that we need. So I'll go ahead and save, which is your command S or control S. So that should save the script. And now I'm gonna close this tab on top and get back to my spreadsheet. So now after doing this, there should be a new function available. So if you start with equals Google, and you should see there is a new function called Google Maps. So if you don't see it right away, maybe refresh this page in your browser and try again and it should work. So Google Maps, I'm gonna hit tab to select the function. Now the first thing is our start address. So it's gonna be this comma the second thing is our end address so that's going to be this comma and finally the last argument here is going to be what type of results we want so right now i want my result in miles in this particular column so i'm going to do a quote miles so that's uh, in string format text so in quotes close the parentheses hit enter and we get an error. So it could be that that address doesn't exist. Okay, so by the way, that could happen. So see, there are some errors here. So these uh, addresses I have here are basically automatically generated and some of them might not even exist <laughs> at all. Some of them are not real, so I'm getting an error. So if you get those, maybe uh, try to use like if error function And then we'll put this function here. And in case there is an error, we'll say, well, you'll just say your own message. I'm just going to say error or try again. We should really say uh, check your address and try again or something like that. So here you go. Copy that. Try this down. So some of them don't exist, apparently. Some of them do. So that's the distance in miles we get from this point to this point if we travel now let's try to get this in kilometers so google maps 
start address here comma and address here and by the way for people who have a different time zone it's possible that instead of commas you may have to use semicolons here so that's completely normal that just depends on your account settings uh, so this one is going to be in kilometers so I'll just do kilometers you have to spell it right close this so again you would probably wrap this in if error function if you have some things that don't exist so copy this down so that's our distance in kilometers this address actually doesn't exist apparently so let's actually switch this to something that does exist really quickly so I don't know I'll just remove this straight so that and I'll also remove this one so hopefully the city names actually do exist so they do so that's from this city traveling to this city in the state that's our distance right and I'll just delete for right now this error addresses because they don't exist anyway so why do we keep them so this one and this one there we are so the next one is minutes so equals Google Maps so I'm gonna start with this comma and with this comma and return time in minutes again in quotes that's how many minutes we have to travel to get there and this is all driving distance by the way and it gives you the current time that you're gonna get in Google Maps with current traffic so that may change depending on the time of day you actually check this and the same thing with hours so Google Maps so start address comma and address comma and finally the return type is going to be and you can see this gives you like what returns types you can use all the way down here so miles kilometers minutes and hours so the last one is going to be hours hit enter that's how many hours it's going to take us to actually get there there you go so as you can see there's a lot of ways you can type your addresses and as long as that address exists it should be fine and it should work and if it doesn't exist then it doesn't exist uh, you know you can round these numbers up if you want you know that's up to you I'll just use a number formatting to round it to two decimal points but it's up to you from that point on what you want to do so that's the way you can actually get distances and this is kind of live so again keep that uh, in mind that this distances and minutes could change depending on the time of the day so if there's a lot of traffic it could reroute you through a different destination and the mileage could slightly change depending on what is the fastest way for it to get there and also the time would change depending on traffic so there it is hopefully you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video